So today let's talk about the Epic and Google lawsuit and Valve because they're all tied together a little bit. Uh, so Epic sued Google for saying the Play Store was a monopoly on the Android devices. They won. Now this is similar to the Apple lawsuit that they had, but why did they win against Google and not Apple? Well, because Google was doing a bunch of backdoor deals and some really shady practices. I mean, I have some friends who worked over at the Play Store. Hopefully they weren't involved in any of that, but like lots of, hey, don't do it, don't do this monetization and we will, we will give you a little something, like kind of thing. And they deleted a bunch of evidence and like Google did not behave as a, uh, world-class uh, stand-up company in this. I mean, you can think whatever you want at Google. This was not a, a, a thing. But this is a big win for Tim Epic, right? Because he'd been pushing these things. And I give Tim a lot of credit for being outspoken. I disagree with him a lot on a lot of things. Uh, anything political, uh, just figure we're on the opposite ends of the spectrum. Uh, but uh, for this kind of thing, you know, he's always been outspoken. He's outspoken against when Microsoft wanted to have you have to sign everything with them in a very particular way and go have everything go through the Microsoft Store. He's an outspoken critic of that. And he's also been an outspoken critic of Valve and other places. Okay, so, but that's fine. He's, a, he's the, the underdog coming up. So that's something that you do. And again, people will disagree with me uh, as being the outspoken critic as well, and not as smart as Tim either, or as rich. Uh, but I do play my piano, unlike him. Yeah, it's a deep cut. You either know it or don't. Uh, okay, but what's this mean for cu customers? Pretty much nothing. <laughs> like, it, it's a big win to say, hey, if you're a big publisher, you could put in some kind of payment system. But, like, do you really want a different payment system for every single app that you use and stuff? No, so they'll consolidate that, and probably publishers will have a big one, and they'll save money. And instead of paying 30%, they'll pay the normal 3% or whatever credit thing less because they're big, right? And will they pass that down to consumers? No, you'll pay the same amount. Like there's, this is not a big win for consumers in any way. I don't, I don't, I don't see how it plays out that way, but it's an interesting thing to break up the monopoly. So now clearly Epic out of all these lawsuits never sued Valve for being in a monopoly. And a lot of that reason, first of all, is because Valve's on an open platform with a predominant, like it's not their platform. They did not create Windows, Microsoft did. Microsoft has a store. That store you would think would be the monopoly. It's not, right? Because they'd done an open platform, right? So hate Microsoft all you want. That's a pretty open platform that allows a lot of competition on top of it and how Steam came up. But this also shows a really big difference between Epic and Valve and a lot of between Gabe and Tim Epic. Now, both super smart dudes. Uh, I've been in rooms where they both talk to each other. I've been yelled at by both of them. Uh, and I think I've actually politically disagreed with both of them. So I don't know, right? But okay. But you may have seen those Reddit ads that Steam is a uh, monopoly, come come join the lawsuit. I, I, I don't want to use the word scam because clearly the litigious people, but... Um, but what Valve does differently than Epic in a very meaningful way is Valve just quietly does things and tries not to get in the fights and Epic gets in the fights, right? Both have their value, to be clear. I wanna say, like, both are, like, you can, you can look at that and decide. I mean, and some of it's like my personality, I can't help what side I come on often. Uh, but like, think about when, um, was it like seven, eight years ago, Valve was just getting raked over the coals for horrible customer service, just the worst. And it was in-house, I love the people working on it, but they were just overwhelmed, it just didn't scale to what Steam had become. And so how did they fix that? Did they do a bunch of press around it? No, they just fixed it, right? They just quietly fixed it. And the press was going to be, we're not going to hear this anymore, right? That's a good way to do it. Valve quietly gets into a lot of stuff in a lot of different countries. And you'll see a lawsuit come and it'll come from those companies, be it the lawsuit from Australia about returns or some payment stuff in other countries. And because this valve quietly just does it. They listen to the customer. What does the customer want? Let's start there. Okay, let's just put that in. Let's just go, oh, it's got some regulation problems with it. We will solve that on the back end lawsuit against us versus, hey, we're gonna preemptively do these lawsuits and go after people. Um, it's a difference of style and opinion. Again, no, neither, neither good or bad. Uh, both are helping push the industry forward, I think in positive ways out of the two companies that are pushing things forward. I, those are two good companies. I mean, t yes, Tim Epic made some mistakes. Bandcamp, I'm, we're still wondering about Bandcamp. Okay, but ignore Bandcamp for a second. 
overall, there's been a lot of good positive push on things. And both those companies, when they talk about the other, have a lot of bias in them. So when Tim talks about Steam Deck and liking Steam Deck, but not having enough engineers to support Steam Deck, come on. But that's fine. That's fine. You're allowed to do that, right? But so that's a pretty big difference. And I think, you know, if you think about like as yourself, as a person, how you fall into those camps of if you're the person that just quietly does it. I think we all want to be the person that quietly does it. Or if you're the loud person, you wish you were that person. And maybe if you're the person who quietly does it, you wish you were the loud person. But I'm the loud person who quiet, wish I quietly just could do things. But instead, I have my mouth. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't know how you fix that. But, uh, yeah. So... The Google Store, in case you're wondering what's the big fallout of the Google Epic battle, nothing to you. Eh. Uh, and yeah, I thought it was just interesting just as a way to think about how those two companies are very different. And Epic never sued Valve for being a monopoly because clearly they're not. And they're just trying to do their own store thing in a bunch of different ways and they'll keep trying things. We'll see what works. I mean, over time, you know, it's, again, it's a grind. It's a grind. People don't like grinds. They want big overnight successes, but it's a grind.